Okay, we are about halfway there, guys. I picked up just one of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On pencils because lately um, I have been using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, which is very beautiful, but it's very black, and a lot of the time I like a more natural eye. Today I'm not wearing anything, um, but this one is a really nice kind of rich brown color, and it has like a little bit of hint of red to it. I think that this looks especially beautiful on blue eyes, to be honest. Um, but I would recommend kind of any of the colors in this line because um, when I went into the store and I kind of swatched them on the back of my hand and then I went over to get some makeup remover on a um, cotton pad and I just took it and I really just kind of rubbed it vigorously because I just wanted it off and I looked at my hand and nothing had moved. It was all still there and so I just kept rubbing and looking and kept rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and finally it did mostly come off which is great if you want something that's going to really stay on your eye um i'm not sure how hard this is going to be to get off that might be an issue if you have really sensitive eyes but i do think the makeup remover cleaner at sephora is probably not as good as some of the other ones that you could try um so i don't think it'll be too much of an issue getting it off if you really want something that's going to stay this i think would be fabulous next up i have the makeup forever kabuki brush and um, this actually just came in a little kind of plastic baggie, which is a little bit weird, um, and that's why it's not as fluffy as normal. But this is technically a powder brush. When I went in to try on a foundation in the store, one of the sales associates actually like used this to um, blend my foundation on my face, even though it's technically for powder. And I just thought that this brush was so incredibly soft and it blended out the foundation really well without leaving any streaky lines. So if you're looking for a good um, brush either for you know, powders or if you want to be more adventurous and use it off-label as a foundation blending brush, it's just, I can't stop touching it. Ooh, ooh that's so soft. Um, but this is just, I think, a really high quality brush. I do believe it's natural hair, and this section of the handle is actually real wood, so I do think that this brush is going to last quite a while because it seems to be very good quality. Makeup Forever is known for producing really high quality products, and um, they've taken a lot of my money in the sale, what can I say? Next up, I have a Too Faced Love Flush blush, and I love these. They say that they wear for 16 hours, Probably not quite as long, but they are very long wearing and um, they have bunnies on them, okay? So if you weren't sold yet, you're sold now, right? You're sold, okay. I had originally picked this blush up when it first came out in the shade Baby Love, which is a um, nude kind of color with golden sparkles and it is just beautiful. And even though I've used it so much, you can um, hopefully see that the pattern is still on there, which is adorable and I'm happy about. When I saw them in store, they didn't really have a good way to apply them to test them. So later on, I kind of Googled it and I ended up ordering this um, other shade called I Will Always Love You. And it looks very orange in the pan. So it was like really scary when I saw it in store, but this is a beautiful kind of coral flush and it looks really natural and pretty. And then I have been eyeing the um, Your Love Is King shade for a very long time. But I always heard it was more for more deeper skin tones and I didn't like have my own brush so I couldn't test it out for myself. But lately I've been loving another kind of purpley blush so I was tempted once again to pick this up because I know that I love the quality of these blushes. I would definitely check this out if I were you. Okay, let's see if I can do this in the camera without making like a huge mess. I haven't tried this color out yet. Wow, that is definitely a really strong color. Um, you only need to tap your brush in there once to get it to go on. And um, I really love kind of more purpley blushes or like, of course, the traditional pink or orange for people who struggle with surface redness in their skin or acne, stuff like that, because it draws less attention to the red areas of your face. I'm sure that you've heard of trying a more pink or orange blush instead of a more red-based blush, but I think not a lot of people realize how beautiful these more purple blushes look. And next up, I of course had to purchase the Guerlain Meteorites in Claire. Um, this is their lightest shade that they sell in the U.S. In Asia, they do sell a shade lighter, which is basically all white meteorites, but I guess they figured no one is that fair here. Sorry, Irish people. But it has a really beautiful kind of flower pattern on the top of the lid, and on the side of the lid, it has what looked to me like silver fish scales. I don't know exactly what they were going for, but, um, I love fish, so it's okay. Ooh. 
This is a finishing powder. If you're interested, I have another video on their limited edition collection for this holiday season, but these are permanent and um, they are color correcting finishing powder. It, oh, sorry, it does come with a little kind of puff on the top and inside are these white, beige, green and pink kind of um, balls in them. Most of them do have shimmer. So it's just kind of to um, both illuminate your face and then also to give just a little bit of color correcting. I haven't tried them out yet, so swirl and then they recommend doing like a G shape down your face and then swirl and then do another G shape. Oh my God, I feel like my face is suddenly a lot shinier, but not in like a oily kind of way. I think this product would be more perfect for somebody who has dry skin, who is looking for that kind of classy, elegant, my skin has life kind of shine. Um, not so much like a shimmer ball. Um, if you have oily skin, you might not be as interested in it, but I like anything that's a little bit color correcting. This was my other product that arrived damaged. Um, they had packaged the box really well, but the meteorites can be pretty delicate. And so like half of the gold balls and the other one were just like completely crushed so I just kept the duplicate. And next up I have another finishing powder. This is the Hourglass Mood Light. I did get the full size. I was in the Eye Lift Temptation, where I know I should not be, um, and I saw that they have like the mini sizes of these for I believe like $22. The full size is like $45 or something like that. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna pick up a mini size. And then I saw how much it was and it's only one gram of product and this is 10 grams. So you're getting seriously ripped off if you buy the travel size because it's twice as expensive for this one, but you get 10 times as much product in here. The reason why I picked this up, I do have the Surreal Lighting Holiday Palette as well. And I enjoy that one, but I find that all of the shades in there are pretty shimmery. And that's generally been my experience with all the Hourglass products. Um, this has a really beautiful kind of um, like a glowing pink sheen. So it has no shimmer in it, but it's definitely gonna give your skin a sheen. And um, pink light is pretty flattering for most skin tones. So I think that the um, mood light shade in this would flatter a lot of people. Next up I have my only skincare item. I pretty much try to stick with my Sunday Riley Luna Good Jeans combo, which if you haven't tried that out yet and you have um, oily acne prone skin, I would suggest that you do try that out because it has done wonders for my skin. So I try not to mess with my skincare routine at all. Those are the only two products I use at night on my face. And sometimes I just use the Luna Oil by itself. And that's the only product I've found that really keeps me from breaking out in like those painful breakouts. Um, sometimes I do get some surface spots, but no like inflamed red spots, if you know what I mean. Um, and if I stop using my Luna oil, then the very next day I will break out with painful red spots. So I've learned my lesson. I do not change that up, but I do enjoy a good mask. And um, I was eyeing the other Peter Thomas Roth mask kit with the bigger pots, but that one only has five different kinds of masks in it. And this one has six. So this one, you also get um, the rose stem cell mask in it. These are comparable in price per gram. And I do think they're a good value either way. But just since I haven't tried out any of the masks before, I would rather pay um, $25 for this little set than pay $75 for the bigger mask sets, just in case I don't really like them that much. And then I figured I can always go back and buy a full size of whichever mask I like. And this has the pumpkin enzyme mask, the cucumber gel mask, Irish more mud mask, 24 karat gold mask, rose stem cell mask, and the blue marine algae mask. Um, so I believe there's a mask in here for people of every skin tone. And if you honestly, if you try one of these out and you don't like it, or if you know you don't like a certain kind of mask, you can give it to one of your friends with that skin type. So this is really cute. And I think this is really practical and it's a great gift. Next up, I have two more foundations. I went a little bit crazy with foundations this time. So again, battle of the foundations is coming. Um, this is the Giorgio Armani Lasting Silk Foundation, and this has SPF 20 in it. I did just run out of my Luminous Silk Foundation, well it's almost out, um, and that is in my kind of summer color, so I ordered this one shade lighter. Again, I purchased this because Karima Mukimi recommended it, and she always recommends great stuff. She said that the Lasting Silk, um, compared to the Luminous Silk, just has a little bit more of that pore blurring effect that I like in the Luminous Silk and I think for oily skin people the lasting silk one will stay better on the face. Um, just if you're wondering, SPF 20 
probably doesn't really do that much for you in the amount of foundation that you're actually putting on your face, so you should use another sunscreen anyway. Um, but it has SPF 20 in there, so maybe it will flash back in flash photos if you are concerned about that. I have another foundation with SPF 20 in it. This is the newly reformulated Guerlain Lingerie de Peau foundation, which is like underwear for the skin, roughly translated, and um, it comes in like this strangely shaped bottle. I don't really know why the back is flat. I think I would prefer a rounded bottle just to hold in my hand a little more comfortably, um, but that was the way their old bottle looked. And I've just heard a lot of great things about this foundation since it's been reformulated. Um, I think that the colors used to run a little bit more pink toned and they have since made them more like neutral or a little bit more yellow toned. So we'll try it out and see. I have a couple Too Faced products. I have a Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme in the mini size because I have really tiny lips and I've been wanting to try like a, a stinging lip plumper for a while because those ones give more of an immediate effect to the lips but I was just worried I wouldn't like it, so I picked up a smaller size. And I also have the Too Faced 24 Hour Shadow Insurance, and I've been struggling a lot with my eyeshadow primers lately. I have an old Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I think I've kind of stopped liking because it's getting old and needs to be thrown out, so I decided to um, bite the bullet and purchase a new one because um, I just remember when I first started using it, it really like made my shadows last so well. They were so vibrant, they never creased. And I don't know if it's just like my eyelids are getting a little bit older. There shouldn't honestly be that much of a difference between when I started using it and now. So I figured I'd try this one again. I did try the um, Urban Decay Primer Potion as well and that one feels a little bit more oily. It's the original formula. I didn't like it as much. Um, and I also just picked up the MAC Painterly Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. That one is really, really thick and dry, and I have to really, like, press it onto my eyes to get it to go on there, which I don't really like. I want it to just blend really easily. You can't really blend it with a brush because that one is so, like, thick. It does cover up really well if you have, like, veins on your eye, but I find that that one creases immediately, no matter what I do, even if I set it with powder, so I'm not really happy about that because that one was... I believe $20, which is pretty much the same as this, but I think this one is a really kind of loose, liquidy formulation. It does separate a little bit, so what I like to do is just kind of squeeze it back and forth like this before I open it, and then I have no problem. The last makeup item, or the last four makeup items, depending on how you want to count, um, is the Makeup Forever Artist Eye and Cheek Shadows. When it came time to do the promo, they have this deal where you can buy one shadow for, I believe, $22, um, or you can buy two with like a little two palette for a discount, or you can buy three with a three palette for $44, so that's basically um, the cost of two shadows, so you get one shadow free. And I was really excited because I was like, oh, I can get this deal and I can use my 20% off coupon and then I will basically be paying for one and a half shadows. But it took this promo out of my cart when I applied the 20% off coupon. Um, so you're better off saving this for a day that is not a sale. It is actually cheaper to get it with the regular promo at $44 because I believe with the 20% off coupon it came to more like $52. I'll share the shades that I picked out with you just because it took me so long to pick them. These again, kind of neutral colors, but this one is like the most beautiful rose gold color that I have ever seen, and I've spent so long hunting down that perfect rose gold color. It is the shade Creme Brulee. The shade Creme Brulee is a diamond shade, so what that means is it has like a very nice sheen with a few points of glitter in it. And then um, this shade is Golden Fawn. It is exactly what it sounds like. It's a golden light brown fawn color. It is an iridescent color. And this shade is Celestial Earth, which I believe is a diamond shade. Um, the diamond shades start with a D, the iridescent shades start with an I, the matte shades start with an M. This one is a dark brown with kind of a gold sparkle in it and I'm really excited to try these out. I also picked out a trio of more like cheek colors, which could also be used as sort of rosy eyeshadows, but one of the colors was out of stock, so I'm just gonna wait and pick that up later. That one will also be listed in the description box below. I do have one last thing just because I picked it up today. It's not a beauty product. So if you are doing like your Christmas shopping right now, you're making your Christmas list, and you just have that friend who doesn't really like beauty stuff and you're wondering 
wondering what you can get them. I went into Pier 1 frantically last year looking for this and it was sold out like everywhere. I couldn't get my hands on it so I was so happy they brought it back. I believe this is called the Park Avenue Pup Set. Oh my god, it's so cute. If your friend loves dogs, look at this. This is like the most adorable mug. They also have like a tray and some plates and like a cookie jar and all that but just like look at it. It has all these different kinds of dogs like dressed up in their little like cute Christmas gear and it's just adorable. It's only I believe eight dollars and right now they're having a 20% off sale on it as well and it is a nice big mug so if you or your friend are um, a type of person who likes to brew your tea in the cup then you want a bigger mug for that. That's enough for one day. If you would like to come back and join me and see um, my more in-depth thoughts on each of these items as well as tutorials and things like that then please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up if you are still here and if this haul has been in any way helpful for you. And of course if you have any questions at all, if you have something that you want to see me review first for your shopping starting this Friday then just let me know in the comments section below. I will do my best to get that information to you as soon as I possibly can. Have a wonderful day you guys and I hope that you get everything that you want in this coming sale and happy shopping!